Hello, and welcome to the LiDAR version of GeoServe. This tutorial will cover the basic navigation and operation of the LiDAR viewer. You can navigate the viewer in a similar fashion to Google Maps. By left-clicking and dragging the mouse, you can pan across the LiDAR scene. Using the scroll wheel allows you to zoom in and out. As you zoom in, more LiDAR points will be loaded in the area. You can right-click and drag to rotate the map. The compass in the main viewer and the minimap will inform you of your current orientation. The minimap will always have the north direction towards the top of the screen. The navigation tools are an alternative way to explore the LiDAR scene. The full screen button removes the header and fills the screen with the viewer. To exit, press the full screen button again or simply press the escape key. The layer panel will allow you to toggle any overlays within your scene. Some layers will only be visible beyond a certain zoom level. For our tile index, we will need to zoom in to level 12 before we can see it. The tile index is a special layer. By right-clicking on a shape, we get a context menu. You can accept and unaccept tiles from here, indicating that the area is clear of any errors. Your marked tiles will persist between sessions. A counter attached to the legend reveals how many tiles have been accepted in the entire project. The paintbrush icon lets you change the visual style of the LiDAR points. You can also set which classification of points you are viewing. Please note that you do not have to be in classification mode to use this feature. You can save your current location and jump to interesting features by using the bookmarks tool. Your zoom level will also be preserved in the bookmark. Hovering over the bookmark icon will reveal all of your current bookmarks. Clicking a bookmark will take you to that location. To add a bookmark, click on the Add Bookmark button. A bookmark panel will allow you to mark the location at the center of the screen. Select an icon, name your bookmark, and click the plus button to create the bookmark. You can also cancel the bookmark with the X button. When you no longer need a bookmark, you can delete it by clicking the X button within the bookmark panel. For the best results, we recommend creating bookmarks in 2D mode. Speaking of 2D mode, you can toggle between 2D and 3D at any time by clicking the mode switch. The navigation controls remain the same in 3D mode. Unlike 2D mode, Rotating in 3D allows you to move in all three dimensions. Moving on, the Information tool displays an overview of your current project. You can see project status, page views, and the number of each type of issue within your project. The Export button grants you the ability to save an organized list of issues as a PDF or CSV format. Microsoft Excel is commonly used to view the CSV format. Now let's discuss the more powerful tools. The Issue List button allows you to view any issues within your project. Clicking on an item will zoom to its location. The color of the icon reflects the current issue status, which is displayed in the scene legend. Clicking on an issue from the LiDAR scene will display more information about it. You can see the tile it resides in, the owner, and its description. From here, you can add a new comment or delete an issue. In the case that your view becomes crowded with issue points, you can toggle them on and off with the Hide Markers button. The remaining three tools will only be enabled above a specific zoom level. You will only be able to use them above a zoom level of 14. Before we discuss creating our own issues, let's cover the Profile tool. This tool allows you to examine a slice of the LiDAR data. To use it, click the Profile button. A red sphere will appear underneath your mouse. Left-click to draw a line over the area of interest. You can keep left-clicking to draw an extended profile. Right-click to stop drawing and enter profile mode. You can navigate like usual to view the slice from any angle. You can also click and drag the red spheres to fine-tune your selection. When you're finished, you can click the profile button once more to return to a normal view. The final two tools allow you to create your own issue markers. Clicking the pin button will place a blue marker at the center of your screen. You can click and drag the marker to its proper location. 
fill out the Add Issue form by selecting an issue type and adding a description. Clicking Submit Issue will save the issue and automatically inform Sanborn technicians of the new area to review. The icon will turn red and the issue form will close when the submission is complete. Depending on your internet connection speed, this may take a few seconds. You may also represent an issue by using the Polygon tool. For ease of use, we suggest drawing polygons in 2D mode. Click the Polygon button and a red sphere will appear under your mouse. You can left click to draw a polygon of any shape. When you are finished, right click to finalize the polygon. Fill out the issue form like before and submit your issue. Like the issue markers, the polygon's color will change according to its current status. This concludes the tutorial for the LiDAR version of GeoServe.